When I gave my life to Christ at age 16, it was a radical transformation, not in the sense that I had a drug addiction, not in the sense that I was very sexually promiscuous, but just that I really wanted to live for God with all of my heart. I didn't know anything about sun stand still prayers. I had never read this passage before. I read through my New Testament in a space of about two and a half months. I would literally go in my closet where I kept my dirty clothes in my house and pray in my closet because I read where Jesus said you should go in your closet when you pray. And I took it literally. And I would go in there and pray for lost people. I had a list of over 50 of my friends. And I would share the gospel with them and I would pray for them. But at the top of my list was my dad. My, my dad is a big guy, 6'2". Um, he had a very rough life. My father's father killed himself on my dad's eighth birthday. That was my dad's eighth birthday present. He woke up and found his, his own father dead. And I always thought that was about the saddest thing that could happen to a little boy, but my dad has actually told me, no, it was a really happy day because he was such an abusive and mean man. We were all very glad to see him go. And so my dad dropped out of school in the eighth grade to help support the family and went through two marriages before he met my mom. And then he messed up and married a woman who didn't believe in divorce. <laughs> and so my mom started praying for my dad. And although I'm talking about my dad and I'm talking about a very specific situation, at this point in the message, I want you to bring back that need to your mind, that thing you need God to do that you believe is his will that only he can do. There may be someone in your life that you want to see come into a relationship with Christ. There may be a very practical need that you have right now that has a dollar amount attach, attached to it. And I'm not telling you that the check's going to show up in the mail if you pray this prayer. Son, stand still. You know, turn around five times and, and throw your Bible in the air and, <laughs> and, and God will send a bonus check. But I am telling you that God specifically cares about the needs of his children. He's numbered the hairs on your head and he knows your situation and he cares about your circumstance. And for me and my family, for so long, that was my my dad, God save my dad. My mom would pray, save my husband, change my husband. He had a very, a very brutal alcohol addiction, uh, a, an addiction to drugs. Uh, he would come in a lot of times at two and three in the morning. He was the best dad he knew how to be, but he didn't have a dad to show him how to do it. And so he was really out there on his own. And at age 16, I would be in my closet with my dirty clothes in the closet, praying for my dad, praying to son stand still prayer, even though I didn't know that that's what it was called, praying that God would save my dad. And one day, I don't know what came over me. I couldn't tell you to this day. Now I know that it was the Holy Spirit giving me this measure of audacity. I was leaving to go to church. I was putting my tie on, and I was going out the door to go to church. My dad wasn't going to church with the family. He was washing dishes because he would do that every Sunday morning to make himself feel better about not taking us to church. And as I was walking out the door, I spun around, and I looked at my dad, and I said, at just this volume, not in an arrogant way, not to try to put him in his place, but just to share with him, I said, Dad, Dad, God's about to get a hold of your life and everything's going to change and I just wanted you to know that and I walked out I'm standing before you today and I could tell you a lot of stories about what's happened between that when I was 16 years old as a brand new Christian just full of faith and, and where my dad is now but would it help you to know about your situation what you need God to do in your life in your family and your business, whatever that impossible need seems to be, that my dad, the eighth grade dropout, came forward after I preached a sermon the summer after my freshman year of college and knelt down at the altar and cried like a little baby and gave his life to Christ, and God has set him free from not only alcoholism, but has set him free from, listen, cancer survivor, liver transplant. You know what he was doing at my house the other day? memorizing the book of Ephesians because he's already memorized Philippians as well as the entire Sermon on the Mount from Matthew 5, 6, and 7, an eighth grade dropout. Don't tell me God can't make the sun stand still. I've seen it. I believe it. God's word promises it. And whatever you need in your life today, I believe God made this appointment with you so that you could see the sun stand still. I want you to bow your head and close your eyes in an attitude of prayer at all of our life churches the network churches, and at church online all over the world. Some of you are in need of the grace of God for your salvation today. You need God to turn your mistake into a miracle. The Bible says that all have sinned and fallen short 
of the glory of God. And there is no greater need that you'll ever have in your life than the need to be forgiven of your sins, to have a new life, a new heart, to have a new future, to have a hope of a relationship with God. And in order to see the sun stand still and to receive the salvation of Christ, you must repent of your sins. That means to change your mind and to come into alignment with God's way and receive his grace by faith. And my sun stand still prayer for you today is that you would begin a relationship with God, that you would experience a moment in time like my dad experienced at the altar, like I experienced when I was 16 years old, that the sun would stand still and that Jesus Christ would become your everything. If that expresses the desire of your heart and you're ready to see the sun stand still so that the power of Jesus Christ can save you and rescue you from your sins, I want you to pray this prayer with me in your heart. Dear Jesus, I need your salvation. Make the sun stand still over my life. I believe you died on the cross for me and rose from the grave that I might have life.